Coral reefs, one of nature's marvels, now under threat from our emissions of carbon dioxide. CO2 is a mildly acidic gas, and these natural CO2 vents in Papua allow scientists to assess which creatures will survive, as our CO2 emissions make the seas more acidic everywhere. The branching corals that provide shelter for fish are unlikely to last the century. Shellfish are in danger too. In Germany, they're experimenting to see how creatures can withstand the multiple impact we're having on the oceans. Water will be more acidic and also hotter thanks to climate change. Michael Kuchera studies microscopic shellfish called foraminifera. These organisms, they can cope with elevated temperatures, they can cope with heat, they can cope with um, increased CO2 with acidification, but they have problems coping with both of them acting at the same time. Scientists are also looking to the past for lessons. They've drilled into the ocean floor to take long samples, tracing a timeline over millions of years. The sediment cores go to labs in Germany. The samples are chalky white for millions of years from the fossils of tiny shellfish. That's until this dramatic point 55 million years ago when the ocean suddenly got hotter and more acidic and the shellfish disappeared. The scientists here say we humans are changing the seas 10 times faster than at this catastrophic event. From the samples here in Bremen, scientists conclude that we will have irreversibly changed the seas by 2100. My children will be alive in 2100. I would like them to be able to swim above a coral reef and enjoy its beauty. I would like them to be able to eat mussels and oysters and trefish. And if we are continuing to release CO2 at the current rate, this is not going to happen. Some ocean systems will benefit from the changes we're inadvertently making, especially in the short term. But the report says most will suffer unless we radically cut emissions of CO2. Roger Harabin, BBC News.